Apple is revamping the watchOS interface, focusing on widgets. Exciting news about Apple Watch on the Tech Talk and Beauty channel. Greetings to everyone. Greetings, everyone. This is Valerie from the Tech Talk and Beauty channel. Hello to my beloved viewers and Apple enthusiasts. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on important updates. Today, I learned some information from Bloomberg regarding Apple's significant update to the watchOS operating system. Apparently, the company is revamping the Apple Watch interface to make widgets a central part of the interaction with the watch. According to their information, Apple is reintroducing elements of the Glances system, which was part of the original watchOS. Additionally, they are borrowing the widget style introduced with iOS 14. The new interface will resemble the Siri watch face, which Apple introduced in watchOS 4 back in 2017. However, the interface will function as an overlay for any watch face that the user wants to use. It will also resemble widget stacks, as mentioned by German, referring to the iOS feature that allows users to scroll through widgets stacked on top of each other. At the same time, Apple is testing updates to the physical buttons on the Apple Watch. With the redesigned interface, pressing the digital crown may launch a new type of widget interface instead of the main screen, as it currently does in watchOS 9. There is also speculation that Apple initially plans to make the new interface optional to avoid frustrating users who are accustomed to the existing version. It is likely that the innovation will be announced at the WWDC 2023 event, which is taking place in approximately a month. Allow me to add a few comments. When it comes to smartwatches, there hasn't been a killer feature that surpasses everything. For instance, NFC on watches isn't super convenient because it's often easier to take out the smartphone from the pocket than to bring the wrist closer to the terminal, especially in winter when wearing layers of clothing. It's a very situational use case, unless you have a watch with its own cellular capability. Health features are currently more of a novelty as well because, apart from cardio and GPS, they don't reliably track much. Even controlling music outdoors is inconvenient, all controls are better on AirPods Pro 2, and as a backup option, it's easier to retrieve the smartphone from the pocket than to try to navigate on the small watch screen. In my opinion, the more realistic use cases for Apple Watch right now include answering calls without reaching for the phone at home, quickly checking notifications from the phone, authorizing actions on macOS slash 1Password slash Apple Pay without a password, if you have a Mac, or unlocking the iPhone when Face ID fails due to a covered face. It's also useful for quickly dictating Siri alarms, timers, or calendar events, this is actually the only thing Siri does exceptionally well, and of course, checking the time. What are your thoughts on Apple Watch, smartwatches in general, their features, and interfaces? Share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for interesting news. This was Valerie, see you tomorrow on the Tech Talk and Beauty channel. Sending a big hug to each and every one of you.